Hello everyone, welcome back to the No Mr. Science channel. Now let's go for our solution step by step. The problem is, replace the force system acting on the post by a resultant force and specify where its line of action intersects post AP measure from point B. So first I'm gonna call my forces F1 will be 250 newtons my f2 will be the 500 newtons and my f3 will be the 300 newtons one so the first step is find the components so my f1 x is equal plus because i'm pointing to the right 250 times 4 over 5. So my F1x is equal 200 newtons. My F2x is equal minus, because I'm pointing to the left, 500 times cosine of 30 degrees. So my F2x is equal minus 433 newtons. My F3 is equal minus 300 newtons because I'm pointing to the left. Here I'm gonna do the sum of forces in X that is 200 minus 433 minus 300 newtons. So the sum of forces in X is equal minus 533 newtons. Now our second step is find F1y that is minus because I'm pointing now 250 times 3 over 5 so my F1y is equal minus 150 newtons. Now my F2y is equal plus, because I'm pointing up here, plus 500 times sine of 30 degrees. So my F2y is equal 250 newtons. So the sum of forces in y is equal 100 newtons pointing up. So here, just to record, I know the sum of forces in X is minus 533 newtons and the sum of the forces in Y is equal plus 100 newtons. Now, I'm gonna find the moments about point B. So let's do our force A. So here my force 1 I have X and Y. So my force our third step is the sum of moments about B. Remember that here counterclockwise is positive. Here my force F 1x doesn't generate moment because I'm aligned with point P and my force F1y generates moment. So here is minus F1y times 0 0.5 because I'm going clockwise. Here I have my force F to x and here my f to y. Both of them generate moment so minus f to x times 1 because the distance from point b and then I have minus 
f to y that's here time the distance from point p that is 0 0.2 and here minus f3 times 2 that's the distance from my point p so the sum of moments about b is equal minus 150 times 0 0.5 minus 433 times 1 minus 250 times 0 0.2 minus 300 times 2. So I have the sum of forces, the sum of moments about B is equal minus 1,158 newtons per meter. So I have a force that's along here that here is my Fx and here is my Fy. So here is my Fx and here is my Fy that has to generate a moment of 1,158. So here I have my force. I'm going to put my force back here. I have my Fy of 100 newtons and then I have my Fx of minus 533 and generates a moment of minus 1,158 newtons per meter. So here, the only force that generates moment is our Fx. So I know Fx times a distance from B, that's going to be here until here, that I'm going to call our D, is equal the sum of moments about point B. Here I know that's minus 533 times D is equal minus 1,158. So the distance from point B until my position is 2.17 meters. So it's more or less here d is equal to 2.17 meters. Now, we know that our force is 100 newtons up, and here is my minus 533, so I can use the vector sum to find my resultant force. So the resultant force square is equal 100 square plus 533 square my force resultant force the magnitude is 542 newtons and here i can find my angle theta using the tangent of theta is equal 100 over 533, so my theta is equal 10.6 degrees. So here I know that my force, the magnitude is 542 with an angle 10.6 degrees, or I can use my resultant force in Cartesian vectors that is minus 533i plus 100j newtons and the distance from point b is 2.17 meters thanks for watching to the end if you're still here please like this video and subscribe in the channel thank you see you in the next problem